he truly might die. You can get free fish today that were in my care for free. Steve, you've been through a lot, my dude, but we're gonna get you better. When owning a Stingray, there's many different things to keep in mind. Some of the more important things are obviously your tank size, your tank mates, making sure you have the correct food to feed that Stingray. They're not gonna eat a uh, typical fish flake type food that you might feed maybe some types of tetras or smaller cichlids. Uh, stingrays demand a lot of care uh, and they're I would consider them expert level fish. For those of you who have been following along with my channel, I've had my stingray Steve the stingray for just about a year now um, and he's slowly but surely or very fastly and surely become one of the most favorite fish that you'd see on this channel here. Unfortunately, uh, Steve the Stingray has been having a pretty bad time recently. I had a Waru uh, added into his aquarium. Um, I've always had him as well with things like Geophagus uh, and other types of smaller, more non-aggressive cichlids. Uh, occasionally, his disc will get a little nip here, a little nip there, uh, but nothing too serious or nothing too big. Since I've added the Waru into his aquarium, I have noticed that his disc um, has been getting a little bit nipped up more frequently and worse. Uh, so I actually wanted to make, obviously make sure that that stops. My 125 gallon fish tank is really dedicated to the Stingray. Everything else is really built around it. So I moved the Waru into the 75 gallon aquarium. There's also those Geophagus. Um, and the day after I removed the Waru, I did notice more rips on Steve the Stingray's disc. So today's video, I'm gonna be going ahead, taking some of the fish that I've had for a little bit um, with that Stingray and rehoming them. When it actually comes to the overall health of the Stingray, uh, yes, the nips to its disc is very dangerous if it gets out of control and there's a lot of biting going on, which there is. Uh, but it's not too bad to the point where those injuries would kill him. The thing that we do have to worry about is the lack of eating. Steve the Stingray has not been having a good appetite for the past few weeks. Um, he's typically the type of Stingray that will eat, lead, literally need to be stopped from eating because his he just becomes like extremely bloated by eating so much food. So. He hasn't been eating the greatest. Um, he's actually beginning to display very bad signs of uh, malnutrition. Uh, I typically feed him frozen shrimp. I feed him also uh, sinking pellets and he's not eating really any of this. Uh, he looks like he may might eat a little bit, like a very small amount uh, and then stop eating. I did speak with uh, some people uh, in the aquarium hobby that are very highly renowned. <laughs> I actually did speak with Joey DIY as well. Um, he basically told me, hey, if he ate like a pig before, he'll go back to that. Just lower the amount of stress. And some of the things you could lower the amount of stress is having the lights off inside the aquarium. Now it actually just so happens that I'm doing this anyway because I'm actually treating all of my aquariums for blackbeard algae right now. So I wanted to black out the aquariums and add sea cam flourish excel to actually kill off that blackbeard algae. But we can make another video about that. I'm kind of sorry about my demeanor on this video. Um, I'm not really my usual exciting self just because this thing right means a lot to me and it's it hurts. Um, he truly might die. Um, it would be very difficult for me if he does. Uh, I just, I can't really like fathom not having him anymore. We'll see what happens. Just know this, I'm doing the best thing that I can for this thing, right? Moving forward, uh, we are going to be rehoming some of those fish today. Uh, some of the fish that we will be rehoming is a female Geophagus Steindachneri, a littler Geophagus Steindachneri that actually gave me the Geophagus Fry. Uh, that are actually in my 29 gallon right now. We're also going to be rehoming my Geopari and also three electric blue Acara. Now are all of these fish subjects in regards to they are actually the, potentially the one to do this damage to save the Stingray? It's possible. And I kind of just want to give him the best type of situ situation for him to actually heal up 
get better, um, and then get back on a regular eating schedule. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, I do want to mention I'm not looking forward to rehoming these fish. I don't like rehoming fish, especially ones that I've had for such a long time. Uh, but any fish that would really bother Steve this thing right really can't live inside that aquarium uh, just because that's his aquarium. Let's get these fish out of his aquarium so he could heal up. All right, so the fish are actually inside the bucket here. Gonna take them over to Tropical Showcase. You guys have seen them before. We go there a lot. Uh, Tropical Showcase is one of my local fish stores. So the fish are with me in the car right here. Gonna go ahead and take a drive over to Tropical Showcase. I'll look around. It's the first time I used my brand new camera, the battery dies. Beginner's luck. While I'm here, might as well show you some tanks, so uh, cue the montage. Six fish, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna pull this one. Yeah. So guys, the fish are here at Tropical Showcase, so if you do want to go ahead and pick them up. Come on by the store, get the Long Island Fish Guys fish. <sighs> All right guys, the guys over at Tropical Showcase are doing something pretty cool. If you go to Tropical Showcase and go to the front tank, that'll be known as the Long Island Fish Guy tank. If you go there, drop my name, Long Island Fish Guy, at Tropical Showcase, they will give you those fish for free. You can get free fish today that were in my care 
for free. For free. <laughs> so guys, be sure to check out Tropical Showcase. They're doing some pretty incredible things over there. And I am not saying that. I really love what this store is doing. We did pick up some new fish, of course. What else is new? And we're gonna go ahead and put them into the quarantine tank. My one rule, I've done this before, I am no longer showing fish in my quarantine tank. No more footage of quarantine tanks. I'll have like a little graduation ceremony, if you would, uh, when I do my next Around the Island update video and those fish are free to get out of quarantine. Sh really kind of unveil to you guys some of the new fish I got. So let's go ahead, go home, get these fish into quarantine, wrap it up, see how Steve the Stinger is doing. And yeah. All right guys, like I said, I'm treating right now for black beard allergy, so the lights are off inside the tank. Here's Steve the Stingray. His disc is a little bit bitten up over there in the corner. And then we also have his back disc that's still destroyed back there. Steve, you've been through a lot, my dude, but we're gonna get you better. All in all, the fish that are still kind of left inside of this aquarium are these rainbow fish, my pike tracking, a, a lot, a lot of hoplo catfish. Have the datnoids in here as well. There's one right there. Got a four line cat and a pleco. I think that's really it. I really do hope that this kind of solves the issue of the disc nipping on Steve the Stingray. He is super important to all of us. We love Steve the Stingray. We wanna make sure that he lives a very long, fruitful life and he can't do that when his uh, disc is getting bitten up regularly. So again, if you guys want, and you're local, go to Tropical Showcase. You can pick up those fish. They're not aggressive fish. Uh, they just, I think, mistaked his, his disc for some food with the marbles that are on uh, Steve the Stingray's disc. But if you did like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check out some of the other content here on my channel. Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.